I'm going to quickly talk you through the joining process. Uh, this is a, the same for any modified drop sweater. I've laid my front, that's front and back panels out with the wrong side facing. You can tell they're consistent because if you look here, that's the end tail and then it's on the, the diagonal opposite side because the tops are kind of together. So if I laid them out sort of side by side, the tails would both be on this side. Now I'm left-handed, so this might be on the opposite side if you're a right-hander. Um, so I've laid them out. The first thing I'm gonna do is join the shoulder seams. This is the tail from my foundation row. So this is where I've started. Um, I'm gonna match stitch by stitch and show up the, sew up the shoulder seams for the required numbers which will be given in the pattern and that will depend on how wide you want your neckline so this is where your head's going to go so once i've sewed that up i'm going to relay this out flat and i'm going to attach the sleeves so i've just used a scrap of yarn here and that is in the center stitch of the the sleeve this is um these are the th three quarter length sleeves they don't have the the cuff on which will go there so I'll match this stitch marker up with the shoulder seam and then I'm going to pin it together and I'm just going to make sure that this section ends the same number of rows from the top as this section because once we've we'll just stitch down and attach this sleeve at the, at the shoulder there and then once we've done that on both sides we're going to fold it along the neckline we'll keep the right side facing it so you'll kind of pull it up essentially and then this side seam will be attached to this side seam and this side seam will be attached to this side seam. And then once we've done that, we will add the hem, which will go all the way around. We'll add the cuffs and we'll add the neckline. So that's the basic way to join a modified drop, not modified drop, sorry, drop shoulder sweater. Okay, so I've seen the shoulders and the arms and now what I'm gonna do is fold it over, again keeping the um, wrong side facing you, so we're gonna have all the seams facing. And once I've managed to fold it with one hand, we're gonna align the, the sleeves. We're gonna start at the cuff and we're gonna sew to the underarm and then this is obviously needs to be pinned together um, and folded out properly. So we'll go, along the underarm and then we'll go down the side seam to the hem and then we'll do the same on the other side start on the cuff to the underarm and then down down the side seams when you're working down the side seams it's and along the underarm you can match you can see where the row ends match so you've got quite a good um quite a good guide to make sure you're on the right track, but I would definitely recommend just pinning it together before you get started.